was put away very comfortably by Lara. It was uh, a bad ball from Hick. That's his 10-4 for Brian Lara. And on this slow outfield, it really does indicate that he is timing the ball well. So this partisan Antiguan crowd have taken Brian Lara to their hearts. That'll do. That will do nicely. Pulled away by Brian Lara, an emphatic boundary to take him to his third Test 100, his second against England, and the second of this series. And really hit away very, very hard by Brian Lara. Lara goes for it this time. And that's a superbly executed hook shot. This is a great talent we're witnessing here. Well, it's the time he has to play that impresses me. He just flips it away. And that's the hallmark of great players. They've always got a lot of time. Just listen to the noise now as it builds. It's going to be Chris Lewis to bowl to Lara. All around the ground, jigging and hopping and dancing, all wanting to see Lara get this single to take him to 200. There it is! Seven fours. Brian Lara is 200, not out. And that's the next target, according to the crowd. They'd like him to be 366, not out, which of course refers to the highest score ever in Test cricket, which at the moment is held by the great Sir Garfield Sobers, who scored 365, not out, against Pakistan at Kingston in 57-58. Fraser's after it, but he won't get there, that's the 250. 250 for Brian Lara. Only the 11th time a West Indies batsman has reached that figure. And the fifth West Indian against England. That's gone straight past the bowler. Just make it to the boundary. 298. That's gone to Fraser. Lara's down there again. He's caught him back for the second. It's over. Russell's head. There it is. Brian Lara has made a triple century at Antigua. He becomes the 13th player in Test Match Cricket history to make 300 and only the third West Indian. The crowd have gone wild, the police are trying to keep them off the field. His team colleagues are absolutely elated with him. A piece of cricketing history for all to witness at the St John's Recreation Ground, Antigua. Brian Lara, the new cricketing superstar. Brian Lara, a chanceless innings of 320, and he will resume tomorrow, needing another 46 runs to become the highest scorer in a single innings in a test match. That is a magnificent shot. Only Len Hutton on 364 and Gary Sobers on 365 have scored more runs in a test innings than Brian Lara now. So Gary Sobers is on the ground watching. He's held this record since March the 1st, 1958. Some have got close, but never as close as this. So 
So Brian Lara gets the 350. And these scenes will be repeated all over the Caribbean. Wherever people are, they're jumping, they're joyous, they're jubilant.